Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem Submerge Islands taken from Spodge. So the problem is, this is the problem. Uh, let me increase the font. So the problem is we are given a graph uh, where each uh, vertex represents a city, and the edges between them represents the road or the connection between the cities. So the problem is we have to find the uh, number of uh, cities which when sub uh, when uh, removed mm, yeah which when submerged uh, will disconnect the rest of the one so so what it means is that we have to find the total number of cities which or total number of vertex which when removed uh, will disconnect the graph so if I show you the example test case so the example test case is this so you see the first example there are three nodes and three edges so one is connected to two two is connected to three and one is connected to three so the graph would look something like this if you see if this city is submerged then two and three are still connected if this is submerged then these two are still connected similarly for two if this is submerged then this and this are still connected via this path so the answer is zero in this test case Basically, there are no articulation points. If uh, the prerequisite for this problem is articulation points lecture that I have uh, already explained in the graph theory playlist part one, I will uh, I will be posting the link of graph theory playlist uh, part one uh, in the description of the video. So if you haven't seen that lecture, just just go and watch that first, and then we will we will continue then uh, you should continue sorry so uh, the next graph that's uh, the next input is 6 8 6 8 means there are six nodes you see and there are eight edges one is connected to two six is connected to one and so on if you make the graph of it it would look something like this if you see here is an articulation point because if you remove node 3 what would happen this would disconnect uh, this uh, connected component and this connected component so if node 3 is removed all of these four edges would be removed as well so there would be no path from 5 to 6 which means this forms a different connected component and this forms a di different connected component basically the graph gets disconnected so we have to count and tell the total number of articulation points in each graph and the input ends when we are given 0 0 so where when n and m are given as zero the input ends so if i show you the code how we would solve this problem if you want to solve this problem on your own just pause the video and go solve the problem yourself otherwise i'm going to show you the code so from the beginning we have four variables n m a and b n and m are the number of nodes and number of variables a and b for the edge so we are reading n and m if n and m are both zero then we are breaking which means we are terminating this while loop otherwise uh, we need to clear the adjacency list from the previous task case that is why we are running uh, uh, running a loop till n and clearing all of the adjacency list uh, ar is actually adjacency list is a vector of size 10 power 4 because there are 10 power 4 number of nodes in the input and this is vi means vector of int so this is like this so this is vector of int which is adjacency list of uh, adjacency list for the graph so we are clearing the adjacency list and we are also marking all of the node as unvisited basically we are clearing the input fields from the previous test case and ap is the set which is a set of articulation points now why we need set of articulation points we cannot have a, a count variable something like this and each time when we found an art articulation point and we can increment this that is not possible the reason uh, is that because the same node can be uh, reported at, uh, as articulation point multiple times by different subtrees of the dfs tree so that is why uh, we cannot have a variable and increment it again and again because the uh, same node can be reported articulation point multiple times that is why we are keeping a set the 
thing about set is that uh, whenever we would find an articulation point we would insert that into the set so that even if a, a, a node is inserted 10 times it would still be counted only once because set doesn't keep set is a data structure which, which keeps uh, no multiple copies so if 5 is in, inserted 5 times uh, still only a single copy of 5 would be there in the uh, in the set that is why uh, articulation point would help us count the total number of articulation points or basically total number of unique articulation points each time we would initialize the timer with one of course this is for loop which runs from 1 to m so since there are m number of edges that is why we are running a loop till 1 to m each time we are reading a and b and then in the adjacency list of a we are inserting b and in the adjacency list of b we are inserting a this is nothing but adjacency list representation of the graph then for each node this uh, this would run loop from 1 to n this time since there are n number of nodes so for each connected component if ith node is not visited which means this connected component is not being traversed in which the ith node lies so if the ith node is not visited we would make a dfs call to that node passing its parent as minus 1 since this node would be the root and root has no parent after you reach dfs what you would do of course uh, there are in and low time so once you reach a node what you do you initialize in time and the load time of the node to be equal to timer and then we increment the timer now child count to count the total number of subtrees in the tree rooted at node uh, node uh, in the dfs tree so this is used to uh, to check whether the whether the root of the uh root of uh, the dfs tree is actually an articulation point or not all of this i have already explained in the articulation point that is why i'm going really fast now uh, we are traversing each of the node in the adjacency list of current node so if the current child is equal to parent which, which means we have nothing to do here so we would continue for the next iteration otherwise if the child is visited which means this is a back edge so we would minimize our load time so load time of current node is equal to load time of current node comma uh, in time of child otherwise which means this is a forward edge if this is a forward edge we would make a dfs call we would also increment the child count because this forms a different uh, subtree in the dfs tree and then we would minimize the load time of current node by the low time of each child and then we would check whether this child is at uh, whether the current node is articulation point or not with respect to the current child so we would see the of course the low time of the child should be greater than uh, sorry should be smaller than the in time of node if that's not the case then the current node is actually an articulation point so we would insert this into the articulation point set and remember uh, for checking this condition as explained in the articulation point article uh, as explained in the articulation point video uh, the current node should not be the root and this condition actually makes sure that the current node is not actually a, pair, uh, a root so if the current node is root which is parent is equals to minus one then and if the child count is greater than one then current node that that is the root itself is the articulation point that is why we are inserting that as well in the articulation point set after that we are uh, after running all of the dfs's we would simply print the size of the articulation point which is size of the set so if we run it for the test case let me just copy sorry so you see the answer of the first task case is 0 and the answer of the second task case is 1 so let's see, simply submit the solution and see what we get ok the solution is running and hopefully we will get an AC okay so accepted so as you can see we get an ac so this was all for this problem this was how we solve this submerged problem from uh spots so if you have any doubts or query you can all, uh, always 
post it down in the comments so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you